R Java, Wikipedia article audio. R Java literally means sincerity, straightness, and non hypocrisy. It is one of the ten yamas in ancient Hindu and Jaina texts. R Java means straightness, sincerity, and harmony in one's thought, words, and actions towards oneself and towards others. Kane translates R Java as straightforwardness. It is explained in ancient Indian texts as self restraint from hypocrisy, and the absence of hypocrisy. It is included as one of several ethical virtuous restraints in an individual's path to spirituality. The Maharashtrian poet Vamana in Avijata, at 16.1, posits Arjava is a form of honesty and purity in a person, and an essential virtue so that one may treat everyone equally, whether that other is one's child, wife, relative, friend, a stranger, someone hostile or oneself without any discrimination. Definition Literature the ethical concept of Arjava is synonymously referred to as Adamha. Adamha also means non-deceitful, straightforwardness and sincerity. It is listed as a virtue in the Indian epics. Arjava is one of the ten yamas listed by S.A. Ilya Upanishad, as well as by Svatmarama. It is one of the virtuous restraints taught in ancient Indian texts. The other nine yamas are Ahi, Sa, Nonviolence, Satya, Truthfulness, Astya, Not Stealing, Brahmacharya, Celibacy and Not Cheating on One's Spouse, K, Ama, Forgiveness, Dh, Ti, Fortitude, Daya, Compassion, Mitahara, measured diet, and Saka, purity, cleanliness. In some texts, such as by Adi Sankara, this virtue is called as Bhavasamsadhi, and explained as purity of motive and freedom of mind from hypocrisy, both in one's social conduct, as well as within oneself where one's thoughts, words, and actions resonate. It is considered as a virtue that empowers one to act and live without anxiety, anger, prejudice, inner conflict, or confusion. It is also discussed in Bhagavad Gita in verse 17.16. The Mahabharata, in Book 12 Chapter 60, lists Adamha as a virtue along with Akradha, Keshama, and others. In the same book, in Chapter 278, the epic explains how and why hypocrisy arises, suggesting that it is a derivative of the sin of covetousness, greed, and attachment to superficial possessions. Patanjali's treatise on yoga lists only five yamas, which includes non-covetousness and non-possessiveness, but does not include arjava.